What's up YouTube, I'm Darkjack, in this game I get the Assault Juggernaut, which is different from the Recon Juggernaut in Modern Warfare 3. What the Recon Juggernaut is, is that you get a pistol and a riot shield, but with the Assault Juggernaut, you get an M60 light machine gun that has tons of ammo, and you also get a Magnum as your secondary. So in this game I get it from a care package, I don't actually get it from a 15 point streak. So I'm really loving using Hardline with 3, 4, 5 which makes it a 2-3-4, so you only have to get 4 kills to get a Predator Missile, Care Package, and UAV, which is a pretty good deal, if you ask me. You can also get points by shooting down air support, so I'm always running a Stinger Missile using my overpowered Type 95. So once I get the Assault Juggernaut, I don't die for, for the rest of the game, and I just stay in that and I kill them over and over again, and that guy already has Final Stand on, which is a death streak, even though the game just started. And so fortunately these people I'm playing against were not very good. These are probably the worst people I've played against since starting to play Modern Warfare 3. Most of them are very low levels and they're not very aware of the surroundings so it allows me to kill them very easily. And so they stood no chance of killing me while I was the Juggernaut. And when you're in the Juggernaut, uh, what you want to do is try to isolate the enemy team from each other. Try to kill them one on one. Don't, you don't want to get ganged up by people because the best way to kill the Juggernaut is to gang up on them. Have multiple people shoot them from different angles. Whereas, uh, uh, when you're not a non Juggernaut, you have 100 health. When you're a Juggernaut, you have tons of health. And so it takes a long time for people to kill you unless they just shoot at you. And if you want to see a video of how to kill the Juggernaut, uh, you can look at T-Mart's video, as well as Woody's Gamertag, and Bender also put up a video. The RPGs also works well. Two RPGs will kill the Juggernaut. You can also knife the Juggernaut as well. That does quite a bit of damage. But the best advice is just to gang up on them and use the RPG. Fire grenades are not very effective. But yeah, team RPG them. We'll make a class with, with, the, with the RPG just for Juggernaut situations. Or knife them or shoot, shoot them <coughs> as a team. And when you shoot them in the head, it does more damage than to the body as well because you have a headshot multiplier I think it's normally a, a 40 percent more damage when you shoot them in the head and that goes for, goes for all characters all right there that was my IMS that I got from my care package the IMS uh, allows you to kill people like a bouncing Betty but it has three of them and you can't uh, survive from it once the IMS goes off, you're going to die. You can't go prone and avoid it like a bouncing Betty. So that guy's coming around the corner, so I just wait for him. So I got my three point streak. I switched to Assassin from Hardline. Now that they have UAVs up. Once again, he goes into his death streak. So I'm just going to throw my grenade and get a nice double kill. Now I'm not going to pick up those dog tags because I want to use the dog tags to get more kills. Because they're going to try to get them to prevent them. But that, this, these guys had ballistic vest on. So uh, because they had ballistic vest, it was difficult for me to win that situation. I should have just stayed back. That would have been the smart thing, not to rush out there. So now I'm throwing my care package out. And when you throw the care package, make sure you always throw it in your team's spawn. You don't want to throw the care package if you're in the middle of a map or if you're near the enemy team. And there I flash myself because I'm stupid. So I'm going to run out there. There's my Juggernaut. I've got my M60. And these guys stand no chance of killing me. When you're in this thing, it's very, very difficult to die. As long as you just play smart and you stick to one-on-one -on -one situations. And you don't go out in the open where they can double team you. So you also have scavenger in this thing, so you don't have to worry about running out of ammo, ever. And the M60 is a great gun. It has lots of ammo. Uh, it has a very large clip. It's great at long range, and bullets that you shoot from a light machine gun do not decrease over range. That's the advantage of using a light machine gun, and they have great pre penetration ability. But you move really, really slow when you're using a light machine gun, or if you're a juggernaut. So. It's hard to find people when you're the Juggernaut, so you kind of have to play aggressively and rush into their spawn and then kill them because the Juggernaut is definitely better than any other kill streak in the game. You'll get more kills with the Juggernaut Recon 
or the Assault Recon especially, than you will with the uh, Escort Airdrop or Osprey Gunner, respectively. So those things will just get shot down by someone with Blind Die and a Stinger. So this is pretty much what we do for the rest of the game. I'm the Juggernaut and I lead the way for my team. And so once I kill them, I allow my teammates to pick up the dog tags of the people I've killed. And when someone is a Juggernaut, you want to use them as a shield. Have the Juggernaut distract the enemy team. And then they can, then your teammates can then get the kills. Or you can give the Juggernaut to someone on your team. And then you can stay by them and let the Juggernaut draw their fire. That's a tip that... uh. 402 Thunder 402 or Legend of Thunder gave out but I want to do that because I'm selfish and I want to get lots of kills for myself try to get my KD up there because I'd like to have 3, 3 KD one day in this game that's going to be really hard because you die so fast the spawns are so unpredictable and there are so many great guns in this game and Assassin is so prevalent there's really no way to counter Assassin unless everyone on your team runs Recon Pro. Delta, you've got a people don't want to give up sleight of hand to run, run Recon. So I can't convince my teammates to run Recon with me. So I just don't even bother. The more people that use it, the more effective it is, like Assassin. So, right now it's kind of boring for me because I'm, I'm trying to find the other people in the other team. They're trying to avoid me because they know that they're never going to want a gunfight with me. So they're all trying to run away from me. That makes it hard for me to get kills. So right here I get a little, little luckier. And I'm near where they're spawning at. So if you want to know where someone's going to spawn in Team Deathmatch, generally they spawn furthest away from where your teammates are. So if you want to find the enemy team, stay away from your teammates. Though in Domination they tend to spawn where their flags are. Not where, which is actually where the rest of their team is. So in, in domination, you tend to spawn on each other. Whereas in team deathmatch, uh, the the enemy team they may spawn near their team or they may spawn as far away from the action as possible. And the spawns are really unpredictable. That's why I rarely ever play team deathmatch because the spawns are so crazy in deathmatch. And I don't like playing it. It's too slow paced. I like playing playing game types where people actually move around, like domination and. Sometimes in kill confirmed. So I'll talk to you guys later.